Okay, now let's discuss this more now with the president of ATM. That's the African Transformation Movement, Mr. Vuyoloti Zungula. Mr. Zungula, good afternoon. Welcome to today here on ENCA. Are you satisfied with the response you got today uh, from the acting public protector, advocate, Kolega Kalega? One of our demands was that in seven days, she must issue the report. Therefore, our satisfaction will only be, will only be when our demands are met. And we're hopeful that she in accordance to what the law is is saying, she will abide by the law. Because, but then, what I need to make clear is that as the opposition party forum, we did not go there out of politicking. We did not go there out of our own emotions. We went there to affirm the law of our country. Section 3.2 of the EMEA Act states that the public protector must issue a report within 30 days or in 30 days after receiving the complaint. The complaint was lodged in the office of the public protector on the 3rd of June, was sitting now on the 9th of September. The report is nowhere to be found. Therefore, our action of going there, we did not just wake up and decide to go there. We've written countless times to the acting public protector. We even physically went there to engage the public pro acting public protector. So by going now in that picket, it was to strengthen our case that we, all of us as a citizens, including them as a chapter nine institutions, they must abide by the law. Now, did you get a sense from Advocate Galega uh, why they've taken longer than stipulated in the act you've just quoted? You made the complaint in June, we're sitting in September now. Um, she did mention how some of the um, you know, the people to be interviewed were not really cooperating or giving substandard answers. And the person we can think of on the top of our head who has been doing that is none other than the sitting president of our country, a sitting president who irrationally and unconstitutionally suspended a sitting public protector. He goes to parliament, he says there he's cooperating with the chapter nine institutions and all law enforcement agencies. On the other side, when the public protector is asking questions, he asks for extensions or does not give satisfactory answers. That is why some of the times the acting public protector has needed to even threaten the president. So we are the, we believe that the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, is actually the reason why that report has not been issued. But that is not the case. Um, you know, um, because we also believe that the law states that the report must be issued. There are two things. The finalization of the report can happen maybe two months, a week from now. However, that does not take away the obligation of the acting public protector to issue the report within 30 days based on the information at hand. So what we're calling for is the release of the report based on the information at hand in line with that 30-day rule. Come seven days from today, she's given the undertaking. If you are not satisfied with the report that you will get in seven days' time, what uh, recourse are you going to take? One of the available avenues, it is to pursue legal action. Um, we've tried engaging the acting public protector. We've also tried engaging even the speaker because the acting public protector of the office accounts to parliament. Parliament is well aware that the laws have been broken in this particular regard. Therefore, if on the, in, in seven days, we do not have any satisfactory results, we will have no other choice than to approach the courts. Let's go to the parliamentary issue. I mean, you brought the, 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 the motion or the request. I don't know what is the right word right now in terms of a possible impeachment process of the president in, in parliament. And uh, the last we heard was that uh, the speaker had said there has to be that independent panel. And you as opposition parties in your forum have suggested names of potential members of that panel, including a potential judge to, uh, to head. Uh, that panel. Where is that parliamentary process at? What can you share with our viewers this hour? Um, before I start there, Braden, I think we need to remind the citizens that to have a president that is accused of money laundering, tax evasion, 
and a president that is accused of violating the basic human rights of people by kidnapping and torturing them. It's not, um, you know, it's not something that should be taken lightly. This is a crisis. This is an embarrassment, not only in the region or the continent, but the entire world. Therefore, parliament, because the president accounts to parliament, must do its work independently and not be an extension of the executive. The speaker in the last meeting on Thursday confirmed that she received 17 nominations on, on this coming Monday. She will be announcing who will sit or will be part of that panel of three people. And we are very, very hopeful that whoever is chosen to be part of that panel must be a person that will do that work in the interest of the citizens, not in the interest of uh, Mr. Ramaphosa, because we know that he enjoys a protection from um, some people in the judiciary, some people in the media space, some people in the NGOs. You know, we've got NGOs that have been very, very loud on the issues of constitution and ethical leadership. You've got a president that is accused of such heinous crimes. Those um, silly NGOs are nowhere to be found. Therefore, that is why we want a process that is legitimate, a process that is above board, a process that will not exonerate the president, whereas there are clear violations of the law. Because the motion we submitted in parliament has clear and um, supporting documentation of how the president has abused his power, how he's done paid work in violation of the constitution, how he's violated section 34 of the Preca Act, which states that any corruption or theft excess in excess of 100,000 must be reported, and the president did not do so. Therefore, any um, person who will be part of that panel must be a person that indeed will be, um, you know, will act in accordance to the law, not to cower down to the pressures of Mr. Ramaphosa. Thank you very much, Vuyelo Chizungula, the president of ATM, that's the African Transformation uh, Movement. Uh, well, if you've just joined us, they are waiting for seven days. They've given the acting public protector seven days to respond to their demands. And they, they had laid a complaint in June in terms of the Palapala farm theft and also telling us now that come Monday, the po opposition political parties in parliament are expecting Nosi Vue Mapisa Ngagula as a speaker of parliament to finally announce this independent panel that will sit for 30 days in, in parliament and uh, decide whether or not there are grounds to impeach uh, President Matamela Sildramapasa over the Palapala farm saga.